In today's healthcare, we're noticing that patients are sicker than they were years ago. And yet the number of physicians that we have to take care of critically ill patients has not increased to keep up with the demands on the services required. It's been projected that by the year 2020, there is perhaps going to be a need for 16,000 intensivists or critical care physicians. Currently, there are only 6,500 practicing physicians. Research has shown that patients who are cared for by a critical care trained provider have better outcomes than those who are not. So it is an issue, uh, it's a national issue, and it's one that we really need to create and develop a solution for. OSF Constant Care is a great addition to the great care that we already provide at the bedside. The critical care teams at the bedside outline the treatment plan for the uh, critically ill patients and the uh, OSF Constant Care makes sure that that treatment plan is put into place and continued, especially at off hours when intensivists are not available at the bedside. As I'm sitting in the Constant Care setting, which is just basically an office uh, with multiple monitors with nursing staff, we monitor multiple units simultaneously. The units themselves have video so that we can directly interact with the patient, we can directly interact with the staff in the room, and they see us on the video monitor as we see them. So the program works because it supplements the outstanding care that's provided at the bedside. We're able to uh, identify a declining trend in the patient's condition, whether it's a set of labs, vital signs, physiologic parameters, and identify them much quicker than perhaps the bedside team can. The bedside team is stretched in all directions. They are busy between patients and our monitoring center through the use of proprietary software is able to identify these uh, trends before there is actually a decline in the patient condition. So the result is a tremendous improvement in the quality of care that the patients receive in their mortality and the length of stay that they occur in the hospital. It's really changing the face of healthcare here. I believe this clinical initiative is consistent with our ministry-wide vision of one OSF. If you're a patient in an intensive care unit in Peoria, we want the same experience and the same clinical expertise and oversight that you would have in Bloomington. The rural hospitals that will be participants in this program will have services available that they've never had available and sophisticated care they've never had before. At St. Mary Medical Center, we have a very diverse staff. However, um, the numbers of each specialty are less than you would have in a larger community. This program allows a smaller rural hospital like this one, the ability to have the same level of expertise that you'd find in a major medical center. This program is more relevant than ever. Uh, serving a small community, we're taking care of an increasing number of patients who are more complex than ever before. The program gives us the ability to serve some of our sickest patients in the intensive care with the quality that would be obtained at a bigger center. And as we are able to provide OSF constant care or EICU to other hospitals outside the OSF system, we will also be able to provide the protocols that we have developed uh, to allow them to have the excellence and outcomes and care on their patients as well. The biggest benefits for our patients are that we're providing better care, higher quality care, and we're able to get them home and out of the hospital much sooner with a better outcome. We all know that there are evidence-based protocols such as ventilator bundles that are appropriate for each patient that are on assisted mechanical ventilation. OSF Constant Care is really the mechanism to assure that those are given to every patient that they're required on. And that's just one example of a multitude of protocols that benefit patients. Since the implementation of this program, we've already seen tremendous uh, improvement in the care provided in our ICUs. All of that have increased and it's helping to provide improved patient outcomes. 
I think that constant care is saving lives. I think that as we continue to improve it, as all processes in the hospital improve, that we're going to see the benefits of it for years to come. This is truly a technology that improves the quality and safety of care that we deliver. Um, it's really an investment that's been made by the OSF healthcare system that doesn't have a financial return. The return is the improvement in the quality and the safety of the patients that we serve. There is no question that constant care is going to do exactly what we intended to do. Lower the cost of care, improve outcomes, and be expanded to areas that uh, currently don't have this service available.